Hey guys, Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the software features um, with the way they work with the G402 mouse. I will have to say this is one of the better mice I've used, but I want to walk you through this a little bit. So, first off, right on the home page, you can see everything glowing, pretty cool. So, you can select for your profiles, you can select onboard memory, what's on the mouse itself or automatic game detection this these are profiles saved on your computer so that's pretty cool over here you go immediately to the pointer settings so if we click over here it'll take you through all the sensitivity levels for the DPI and through here you can also set profiles but so right here I'm gonna set 4000 I'll assign that as my default profile then uh, shift whenever you press these buttons up here it'll shift to those profiles so if I click here it's going only it's going to go up and here sorry that's going to go up and here is going to go down so all set through these DPI profiles I've set here and then they also reflect over here you can also select the reporting rate for your polling of the mouse, how frequently it sends signal to and from the mouse to the USB port on the computer. I like to put 1000, everybody has their own settings. Uh, here you could put per, po per pointer settings on the profiles and here's some acceleration for the, for the mouse itself software wise. If we go down to this one down here you can select all your profiles it's gonna scan for all the new games and if it doesn't find them you can select them here and you can select a bunch of profiles so per game and you know all that good stuff if we come over here to the I'm sorry I'm using a different mouse so you guys don't see me moving this guy around so then if we go over here to the light bulb you can set the lighting settings which I actually have a person who asked me how do I turn off the breathing effect so just click over here and you'll notice the breathing effect is gone so and then you put a check back on you can select how frequently you want it to pulse you see right there it's pop 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 you know every other second you roll it down a little bit a little bit and then you'll notice the the breathing effect so it turns off slowly and then it looks like it's struggling to come back on but that's just the polling effect I mean I'm sorry the breathing effect so if you slide it all the way down it's not gonna be off but it's gonna take even longer to turn on and off as you can see now so it's turning on and now it's slowly dimming away then you could have the lighting always on but that's for the DPI buttons down here you can see as we go up and down the DPI settings the little lights turn on and off and then if you wanted to you can put it on a sleeper sleep timer which I don't know anyone would use it but either way it's there if you want the lights to stop in 30 minutes they'll stop just set that so pretty cool there we come over here this is one I don't fully understand with the fusion engine so I'm gonna have to touch the mouse for this one if I move it fast you can see that little bar is moving as long as quick as I move it okay and then if I move it over to milliseconds or MS I'm not sure what that is sorry about that I lost the manual but same thing just actually this feels a lot tighter I oh, know okay that's okay so same thing just spelled differently over here and let's turn the fusion engine off so now it's not accelerated so it's easier to to get that max level again because it's not accelerated turn it back on 
and it is accelerated so pretty cool we come over here these are your different software settings uh, you know you have the software start up when the computer does record delays during macro that's pretty cool for those of you that like to set up macros and then to also show quick macro recording instructions on the game display illumination allow games to control the illumination I haven't noticed that myself I've only played about three games of course one of them being Battlefield a beta for Battlefield that I can't speak of and what else did I play? Oh Tomb Raider, Thief um, for one of the other reviews I'm working on this is to enable graphic enhancements of the actual software itself and so it comes disabled to enable it just put a check here and then it's gonna ask you to restart the software and then automatically download high resolution product images I haven't played with that one myself and then it's gonna check for new profiles online so if we come over here sign into Twitter you'll be able to tweet a few things on this go to G402 I've already checked a few minutes ago for the firmware of the of the mouse itself so that's pretty cool you just click on here it'll scan the web hey no update here so now let's go back to profile here you can select all the different profiles that you've created I haven't created any so it's just gonna be a default profile persistent profile is going to be one that always active regardless of the application actually I'm just gonna switch back to this mouse and this one lets you select profiling cycles as hotkeys to cycle through profiles for games so that's kinda cool there and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, here I'll let you share information about the software itself and some help on the software and take you back home over here. Here you can select, it takes you back to profile so you can select what each key does. You know, DPI shift here for this button right down here and then DPI up, DPI down but if you set up select other profile you can change all that good stuff so it's got a bunch of nice little stuff um, and you can save profiles up here I don't really do profiles uh, typically I set it up the way it is and set it and forget it um, I put I think it's uh, probably 4000 I put on the DPI yep I set it to 4000 Mind you, it is not the fastest DPI around, the highest DPI around, but I will say the comfort on this mouse, it just fits in my hand perfectly. I've been using it now for about a month, and I have to say right now it is my favorite mouse, mice, mouse, <laughs> out of all the ones I've used, and um, that's saying a lot. I have used quite a few doesn't have the highest DPI it fits my hand perfectly the polling rate is great but common amongst most mice nowadays um, I like it mainly for the comfort factor it, it just it feels like it was made for my hand I've said that only once one other time before and it is it is just an amazing feeling mouse the software is nice I think the software is very nice. Um, I leave the polling, I'm sorry, the breathing effect right around here. Mind you, my hand is always on here, so I don't notice it, but I just like to say that it's on there. Actually, I like it a little bit higher, so that way I can see it, you know, breathing. I don't have to wait for it to transition. Again, it's not needed, but it's a nice little feature so pretty cool stuff there uh, I just wanted to show you that and uh, I don't think I showed you brightness so while the breathing effect is on the brightness is down almost at the lowest on the mouse move it up a little bit you can see the light but it's not that bright and then as we move it up then it gets really bright so I think that's pretty awesome but alright I just wanted to show you guys how the software works 
what it's about, and uh, that's about it. You'll see the review coming up shortly. Thanks, guys. Bye.